Hello everyone. This reading's for Taurus for July of 2018. Welcome everyone. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I'm glad to have you back. I'm glad to have you here. I've already started shuffling and everything, so that it won't take quite so long. Uh, like, subscribe, share, if you would. Comment, be sweet, be loving, be caring. It's always helpful. All right, Taurus. I think that, oh, if it resonates for you, if this reading resonates for you, that's fantastic. If not, check out your moon sign and your rising sign. If you don't know your moon and rising sign, that you can get it for free. Just Google it. It's easy to find. Okay? Alrighty. As far as that goes, um, if you check where any of your, the sign where any of your planets are, you know, you could be getting effects from there too. So, anyway, welcome. Thanks for coming. Um, and let's get started. Spirit, can you give us a reading for Taurus for 2018, or for July for 2018 for Taurus, please? If I can talk, we'll be doing fine. Taurus, 2018, July. Thank you. Thank you for clarity. Thank you for your guidance and protection. Again. All right. I feel like I should be saying something, but I can't remember what right now. So I'll just go with that. Here we are. This card crosses us. behind us, beside of us, crowning us, in front of us, our fears, how other people see the situation or our surrounding environment, our hopes, our dreams, our desires, the final outcome. Let's check our cards. Over a little bit. We do have room. Okay. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. And see how we're doing. Ready? Oh. The overlying... Overlying energy is the Five of Cups. A change. This is this is mourning over spilt milk. This is crying over spilt milk. These cups are gone, but there's two more back here. You know, he's but he doesn't he's that's not what he's wanting. He's crying over these being gone. This is the overlaying energy of July, Taurus. Let's put him right here. Maybe we can see him. Yeah, good enough. If he was a better card, I'd worry more about him. <laughs> but he might be a good card. Hmm. Let's look and see where we're at here. Well, here we are. This is a card of victory, the Six of, of Wands. A uh, card of triumph. This is a card of victory of success through your own efforts. You worked for this success. You're you're getting accolades. People are cheering you on, man. Let's see what crosses you. Oh, the king of swords. Well, that, that could be good, could be bad. You might have had a little too much success. The king of swords... It crosses you, so it could oppose you, or it could help you, but probably opposing. But 
Anyway, it could just be a person. It could be an authoritative figure. Um, he's like a policeman, uh, a professional, um, or a, a lawyer, uh, you know, a court official, an authoritarian figure, authority figure. But uh, he's fair and just and very smart and, uh, yeah, a little bit on the cold side. But, and he could very well be a policeman. Let's see what else we've got. Ace of Swords in the past. The card of victory, card of success. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's a card of power. It's a card of strength, too. A card of, of, of cutting, of, of sight, of seeing. It's an air, this is air, too, of course, but, um... It's a very intelligent sign. The air sign is supposed to be the sign of communications and intelligence. See how smart we were. In the recent past, we had the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups can signify, uh, it can indicate a person, a loving, kind person, a mature person, and this also can indicate a mature person coming into your life. But it can also indicate a problem, a health professional. This could be a policeman, and this could be like a doctor, you know. This is like a health professional, or, or a therapist, or a, uh, like a physical therapist, or, you know, a loving health-related health field uh, being or entity, energy. Yeah. Wow, two kings. Coolio. Let's see what we got now. How about five of wands? That's two fives. That's two kings. We're doubling up again. I had a reading the other day that doubled up. Um, the fives are an indication of change. The five of wands is like a petty squabble, a little bit of squabbling going around you. You could engage in it. But if you can avoid it, I would. Uh, if you can be a diplomatic force for solving this, that would be nice. But if no one's going to listen to reason, if everyone's just going to fight, try not to get involved. It's just going to drag you down. And chances are you can avoid it if you just you don't get uh, invested. If you don't invest in the arguments. You know, and it's just petty squabbling pretty much. It's a five, and it's hard telling what they're squabbling about. Petty stuff, if it's petty squabbling. The moon. The moon is in our fu future. Or, I'm sorry, Taurus. The moon is in your future, Taurus. Well, I'm part Taurus, too. Um, mysteries. Things that are unseen it also can be related to the psychic. You might be developing insight or psychic power, psychic abilities. Shouldn't really call them powers. Everybody's got them. But you could be developing your psychic abilities. Um, there could be some hidden secrets. There could be a little bit of deception. Hmm. There could be. Could be. Let's look a little further. Let's see what our fears are. Page of Cups. Pages ordinarily indicate messages. In this case, it would be an, an emotional message. Possibility like an invitation to a baby shower or a christening or, you know, something like that. Or, it's hard telling. Could be, could be about anything. It's in your house of fears. In your spot here where you're going to fear things. What we got in the surrounding influence is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is the, how the environment, that's the way the environment's uh, looking at you. He's a, a creative energy. This is a, a creative person. 
You get easily bored by details, so he usually relegates him out. Quite successful because he, you know, he knows kind of what he's doing and he can see what he wants. If it's not a person, he can be a little rash. He can be a little hurried. He doesn't have a lot of... As soon as he gets one thing done, he doesn't want to concentrate on it anymore. He's done with it. He's ready to move on to the next thing. But he's not good with details, but he's very creative. He's, you know, on top of the... Cre and full of action, full of energy. Wands are energy, and this is fire. Fire is an energy sign. So you, so far you've got three kings, too. Okay, let's look further and see what else we have. The Wheel of Fortune. That, of course, is in your highest hopes. Well, I say, of course, it wouldn't have to be there. It could be in the ending. It could be in the outcome. That would be nice, but it's not. It's in your hopes and, and wishes. And the, it's upright. It's the Wheel of Fortune's turning toward for you. Ordinarily, this is a good a good omen. Actually, it's a very good omen. This is a good card. It, it, it bodes well for success as long as you're acting while the wheel is turning in your favor. And right now, it's turning in your favor. This is in your hopes and dreams. And I... And also it will influence the rest of it. So it is turning in your favor, even though you can't see it with the Five of Cups there. Final outcomes, the Emperor. I have to believe this is you. I have to believe that you are the Emperor in this reading. This is going to be your final outcome. This is a card of, of authority, of success, of... of uh, of the ma he's the male figure in the major arcana spread, coming right after the empress, uh, which is a female. But he's he's abundance. He's you know financial stability, emotional stability. He's a good. He's yeah. This is a good read. Whatever you you've got this feeling of loss. Whatever this feeling is. That's what it is. It's just a feeling. It's not borne out by the rest of the cards. But overall, in the month of July, Taurus, you seem to mm, be projecting or being brooding or whatever on these spilled milk. Let it go. Don't, don't be a fussing over it. Don't be fighting over it. Don't be worrying about it. Don't be brooding about it. You're not brooding very much. I don't see any lost sleep anywhere here. I do, however, see a card of success and triumph. Try not to try not to party too much because you do have the police watching over your shoulder here or a person of authority of some sort. Wow. Yeah, these are mature men. This can, three kings can indicate a conference or a meeting of some sort. Especially you've got the health, the police, the doctor, the lawyer. And the fireman, the creator. Yeah, this could very well indicate, I'm sorry for all the pauses, but I'm just feeling it. Um, could very well indicate some sort of a, an important meeting, actually. This is an end of a cycle. Maybe they're meeting in secret. This, is, this can be, along with a card of mystery, this can be a card of deception. Someone could be hiding something from you that needs to be exposed. And with all these kings here, I've got to think that it's, and, and the Ace of Swords, I've got to think it's going to come out in the open. I can't see how it can make, how it can be remain uh, hidden for very long. And you've got your Wheel of Fortune, your Emperor. Not too many major arcanas. That's 
So this can be changed depending on what you, your actions, depending on your own actions. You can screw this up. This is a nice reading. And it leads you up here to be in the Emperor. It leads you to the Emperor. The Wheel of Fortune in your favor. You have a meeting or you have some sort of a conference here. You got a change coming. And you might you might want to bust with it, but I wouldn't. You need to you need to end a cycle anyway. In the past you started something. You began some sort of a project. And either it had to do with health or with uh, the law. Perhaps. Now this is a general reading. This isn't going to be right for everybody, you know. Either health or the law uh, profession, I see, or the arts. That's what he is. Um, but he's in the future. But in the past, it had to do with one of these. Probably this one, health. Or you might have been health related somehow. And uh, you got into kind of, or you're going to, or right now, you're into some sort of an altercation. Or there's an altercation going on around you, some petty squabbling, some just some crap. Something's hidden. Somebody's not revealing everything that they know. Somebody doesn't want all of their secrets out in the open. So you might, and they may be deceiving you. They might be deceptive, or it could be you that is hiding things, that's hiding secrets from other people. The Page of Cups is a good message of an emotional nature, and it could very well be an offer for a job, for employment of some sort, probably in the field of the arts. And it would be a very good one, if that's what it is. It would lead you to be quite happy, and, and you could be the top of your profession, or the top of your whatever business it is you're going for. So it looks like you might have a pretty good July here. Make uh, Keep an eye out for secrets or deception around you. This has been showing up quite a bit lately. Um, yeah. In the month of July, watch out for deception. Mercury's going to be going retrograde here, PDQ, so it's going to be a pain too. Uh, check some of your horoscope things so that You'll know where the planets are. I don't keep up with that that well. <coughs> but I knew, know that they're, ch they're changing. Uh, Uranus is changing. Uh, Mars is changing. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. Looks like you might be having a conference with somebody or, or a secret meeting or signing something. Watch out if you sign documents. Make sure, sure, sure that you know what you're signing. Can we have a little more clarification for the moon, please? You'll be getting a message. It looks like it would be a decent offer. Whatever it is is hiding behind the moon. And that might be what it is. They might be negotiating in uh, secret. But, yeah, you might. That could be a lawyer checking over your paperwork, too. You might want to get your paperwork checked for sure. And, you know, just keep an eye out not to be deceived. New beginnings. Lots of opportunities. Yeah, yeah. New beginnings. New beginnings. Good, good. This is, the fool is a lot of opportunities around you. Um, you it's the beginning of a cycle. It's a total leap of faith. It's a childlike faith. It's a... A happy card. Just don't get so happy that you don't check the details. Don't don't get confused by everything that's going on around you. And yeah, there's a lot of oper there's a lot of opportunity for a new beginning. Uh, yeah. So have a good month. I might check in with you before the month's over. But there's your reading for July, Taurus. Have a lovely month. Bye-bye.